All right, guys, today I've got a special one for you. That is the Shining 3D Einscan SP. I've had a lot of people tell me that this is actually an amazing scanner if most of your parts are smaller and will fit on the turntable, and the full automation makes it a breeze to operate. So we'll have a lot more videos coming out on the operation of this machine, but for now, we're gonna do the unboxing, so let's see what's inside. Like many of the others, we've got a nondescript white box, and this one, which clearly states it is a power plug, it's a power cord. So this is just gonna be your standard plug into the wall, 110 volt, standard plug. All right, so this is uh, one of the tripods, just like the ones that comes with the Pro HD in the industrial pack. So you get the Pro HD or the Pro 2X 2020 with the industrial pack, it comes with a tripod like this, which uh, basically just opens up like any other tripod, stands out and will secure the scanner to it. So I'm aware the SP has a fixed scan mode as well as a turntable mode. Clean packaging as usual from Shining and Iron Scan. Very good. Looks pretty good. All right, so it is a carrying case. We'll see if that works for transportation. You'll see here inside, we're gonna see a turntable. This thing which holds the scanner up here. And um, yeah, let's just dive right in. Right on the top here, we've got the quick start guide for more shining ideas. That looks like it's just the basic, everything uh, from setup, calibration board, etc. Plug it into your computer and go. And right here, we've got the classic velvet case, which you can actually put on top of the turntable if you wanna get rid of the coded targets, but I'll talk about that more later. And it comes with the calibration board inside. So here we've got a what appears to be a very thick piece of borosilicate or tempered glass. This is actually about twice as thick as the, uh, the Pro HD and the 2X2020 calibration board, and it's a little smaller, so that's pretty cool to see. So this is the Einscan SP. This is gonna have some software and some licensed stuff on it, so you wanna make sure to keep this. This is a little stand for the calibration board look at that just a little kickstand type thing so you're gonna set this up and you're gonna hold the scanner at different lengths from in it's usually about a two minute process to calibrate the scanner now i'm guessing this is actually going to go on the turntable but we'll find out here in just a minute all right yeah and then you can see everything is nicely wrapped and packed inside this box uh, they do a really great job of organizing everything and having very good packaging overall so let's pull it out. This first thing here is the actual scanner. Look at that too. It's all packed with desiccant. So it's absorbing any moisture that might get caught up in shipping. And if it does get in there, it's wrapped in a plastic bag inside all the boxes. So that is overkill and I love to see it. I love to see it. So let's look at this little thing. It's definitely smaller than all the other scanners. And it also appears that it's almost exactly like the HD or the uh, Pro 2X Plus or, Pro, or 2X 2020 edition. Um, same form factor without the handle. It's almost, it's very, very similar without the handle. On the back here, we've got a power plug, a USB plug, a micro USB plug, and a power button, which appears to be touch. It's not actually a push button. And then over here, we have the power converter. So this is the power cord we got that's gonna plug into this power block, which is then going to go into the scanner itself. Ah, the tripod attachment. So this is what you're going to use to actually secure the scanner. And you put it in front first and then slides right down like that. So this, as you can see here, it's got the threading for the tripod as well as the actual stand with the turntable. Uh, so that's really handy. Like say you can do fixed scan or turntable scan, which makes this a little more versatile than the SE. Uh, and overall, from everything I've heard, it's a lot, it's a little bit better than the SE. And here we have the actual turntable itself. I wonder if you could use this as a lazy Susan in the middle of your uh, kitchen table. 
<laughs> you totally could. You totally could. You can control these turntables with prompter face if you've ever done that before. It's super basic, just got a USB plug in there. Uh, the Pro HD or the industrial pack, when you get that, it has its own power source. So that's pretty interesting that it only has the USB plug. Very cool. And once again, of course, the coded targets around here. Uh, now these targets are very special and it actually uses these as markers to get higher resolution and tracking to know where it is. So when you can use the turntable with coded targets, it's one of the modes, it can be very advantageous. And it looks like they've included a bunch of little markers. This is actually kind of nice. Instead of being on the big sheets, they got little sheets and it looks like these are not actually the same reflective material that comes with the Pro HD and the 2X2020 and the H and the HX. These look like actual just white with black on them. So that's pretty cool. And what these do is that they, they're markers that you can put on your object or on the surface you're scanning on. And it helps the scanner when it can see three or more of the markers, it helps it keep tracking. So those are really handy and it comes with something like 5,000 of them. So you'll have some to go for a while. Some cables. All right, this is your standard USB to USB. This one, I believe is gonna be for the scanner. And yeah, here's the other USB for the turntable. Oh, interesting. Okay, so this is actually a big USB to a micro USB, which makes sense because on the back of the actual scanner, we've got a micro USB. So my guess is that the micro USB actually plugs into the turntable directly. So it's probably getting its power through there through the actual scanner itself. All right, yeah, and you can see there's a little cutout there for that micro USB. So very cool. And then of course, the actual USB to the computer for the scanner to the computer. We've got the stand. This is what you're gonna use the turntable with shiny from shining 3d <laughs> oh this is cool oh it's, uh, neat it comes with a wire pre-built into there so it's just going down this channel i'm just gonna set this right here all right so we've got this this is great and it looks like we've got this little divot right here so we've got the jutting out thing right there so we can just take this and set it right on there and then as you can see this cable will just plug right into that and then this will go up there so let's actually take this apart and let's assemble this bad boy why not all right so if you just got this little screw right here you can use any regular standard tripod with this as well if you're doing a larger object although this probably isn't the best scanner for larger object uh, we've got better things for that all right that's secure let me take off this shiny protective wrap. Okay, so we've got this thing open and yeah, it's just all right. So I'm just gonna set that in, like say set the front end first and then drop it down. Okay, so this will then go into the micro USB like so. All right, there is also protective plastic on top of the turntable. So I'll just peel that right off. Uh, let me know in the comments below what you think of this, uh, this scanner combo. You know, what I have some customers do, if they want to do a lot of big objects at high detail, look at the HX. But if they still have a ton of small parts, on the HX that can be a lot of labor because you got to do everything by hand. So they'll actually get the HX and then they'll just get this thing to do all their super small, finely detailed parts because the turntable literally you can do in five minutes while you're making coffee, what will take you 15 to 20 minutes to scan on something like the HX by hand. So this can be a great addition if you've got a lot of tiny parts. I'm not gonna plug it into the actual computer because we're not doing that today, but let's see what happens when we turn her, when we fire her up. Ooh, I got a blue light underneath the turntable. All right, so now I'm just gonna touch to turn it on. I got a blue light on the power button. I don't know if you can see that. All right, it turns on. In the next video, we'll be showing you how to actually use it and how to scan with it. Good times. This is the Einscan SP. Great for tiny parts, small parts, anything that'll fit on this turntable. So if you got, it'll fit about that big without blocking too many of the coded targets. 
then this is a great little machine for it. And uh, the accuracy is nothing to shake a stick at. So very, very good stuff. Let me know in the comments down below what questions you have about this, what you'd like us to scan with this, what type of materials, textures, parts, etc. We're doing a whole series of scanning videos, scanning different objects suggested by you guys, the viewers. And let us know if we're doing good content and let us know what you wanna see. Anyway, I think that's it for today. So thanks for watching. Have a positive rest of your day and I'll see you on the next video.